Wow, that is a nice, cool sea breeze. Hey, let's talk about that sea breeze, everybody. This is the Epic Flight Academy Private Pilot Ground School course. My name is Mike Thompson. Now remember, success in this course has three parts. Part number one is studying Epic's online Schoology course. Number two is watching these videos with me. I'm paralleling the content in that course. And number three is to review all of this content in detail with your flight instructor. Now, what about that cool sea breeze? Ah, that felt nice on a hot summer day. Where'd that cool sea breeze come from? Well, remember when we talk about wind, we always refer to wind in terms of where the wind is coming from. So if, for example, we said a sea breeze, that means from the sea. If we said the winds were 270 at 10 knots, that means the winds are from 270. So before we get to understand these local wind effects like sea breeze and land breeze, there's a very important concept I need to share with you. And that concept talks about the pressure that the air exerts. And when we talk about pressure, we're also going to talk about mass, volume, and density. Now, don't be scared and run away. It's not that complicated. We're going to take two imaginary columns of air. And you can see those here. On your left is the blue column of air, and on your right is this red column of air. And as you might have guessed, the blue one is cooler, the red one is warmer, but I want you to notice it's the same mass of air in both columns, it's the same volume in both columns, and it's the same pressure in both columns. And here's what I want you to notice. The warm air tends to spread out across the volume, where the cool air tends to sink towards the bottom of that volume. So notice the halfway line here. Do you notice in the blue column more of those air molecules are gathered towards the bottom. And in the pink column, if you look at the halfway line, there's more of those air molecules above the halfway line. Now that is a very important concept. That density of that blue column of air is denser near the surface. And compared to the blue column, the red column has a higher density higher up. So that means that the higher air in the red column will have a higher pressure. Now the reason that this happens is, of course, because of temperature change. Now where does this temperature change cause local wind. Well, look at our next diagram. This is a diagram of a sea breeze and a land breeze. And the Earth's surfaces heat up and cool more rapidly than water does. Land surfaces heat and cool faster. Water surfaces heat and cool slower. So. During the daytime, you see in our diagram here, the sun heats the earth faster than it heats the water. Now imagine that pink column of air over the land, and imagine that blue column of air over the water. Now remember when we said the top of that pink column, the air was spread out more? There's higher pressure aloft. And if you take a look at our diagram here, that high pressure aloft starts to flow aloft. It starts to flow out towards the sea. 
And if that blue column of air were over the sea, you can see how it has greater density, lower, closer to the water. All right, so what happens here is it starts a circulation pattern. That high pressure aloft flows toward the sea and the pressure over land is dropping. Once it gets out over the sea, it sinks and there's more density at the sea surface where the pressure is now higher and that airflow goes from high to low. Remember, nature is always trying to fill the low pressure areas. So where the air pressure is higher, it will flow to where the air pressure is lower. So we put all those concepts together, we correlate that into this diagram. And you can see where that air at the sea is now going to flow toward the land. That air over land warms faster because the land warms faster, rises up, we have high temperature aloft, and it wants to flow to sea. That cool air sinks, makes high pressure over the sea, and wants to rush to fill the low pressure over the surface on the land side. And we start this land sea breeze cycle. Now, what happens when the sun goes down? Well, guess what? The exact reverse. Why? We said that land heats and cools faster, water heats and cools slower. So now we see the moon rising here in this diagram. The land has cooled faster. The sea is relatively warmer. The air rises up there. There's high pressure aloft, flows in over the land, sinks, makes high pressure over the land and flows out to sea to fill that low pressure over the water. And we start that land breeze cycle. So folks, you can see how local wind patterns are affected by pressure and temperature. Now, one review question to wrap this up. When we refer to wind, how do we refer to its direction? If you answered, we talk about wind in terms of the direction that it's coming from, you're correct. Folks, that's an explanation of local wind patterns. I hope you join us next time.